such a cold Hey, this is Sebastian from the Metal Gods Meltdown and I'm joined by... This is Jeff from Piston. It's great to be chatting to you. It's been 20 years since the last album, Cold World gets released at the end of July. How excited are you guys and impatient even? Yeah, it's been a long road. Everybody's excited that it's uh, finally going to get uh, to be heard by people. So we're, we're excited. It's absolutely excellent. I really love Ruin Your Day. That's my favorite track today. Which one would you say is yours? Uh, I have to say that Cold World is uh, our, I think, I think for all of us that that one's been our favorite, but Ruin was a great song, and uh, you know that seems to be the one that most people got the, the best uh, response from. Also, I love Pain, which is like the last track. That's amazing, that song. I think. That was something that we did as a demo, and uh, when we went in to do the original, uh, you know, we said, all right, we're going to do three songs as an EP or just to see if there was record interest or what we were going to do. So we were trying to pick songs, and uh, Pain was one I wanted to do, but it just never came about. So we just kind of have been working on that one, and um, we wanted to at least include it because we thought it was a great song. So include it on there so people could at least hear it. It is. Honestly, I keep playing that. It's amazing. Um, so will you be doing anything special on release day? Um, probably drank a lot, like we always do every other day. Brilliant. I know that, I know that plan. Um, so can you tell us then, once the album's released, do you have plans to get out on the road and do a festival or anything like that? That's what we're, that's what we're hoping for, is to be able to do some of the, uh, the festivals next year, uh, some of the European ones, and maybe one or two US ones. Uh, I mean, we're, we're certainly not opposed to doing some touring, some dates. We would, we would love to. It's just a matter of if there's interest and um, people want to see us, then we're more than happy to play. Because, of course, you joined the band a bit later on, didn't you? Um, can you remember your first ever appearance with Piston and how it felt? I remember it quite well. It was uh, We played in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We did a show in the middle of the winter. We started heading out. We were driving out because it was just a one-off radio show. We drove halfway there. We got snowed out, and uh, we couldn't couldn't go any further. So they rescheduled the show. We played out there. It was a sold out, uh, maybe a thousand people, and um, it was great. People were singing along. That was when Great Flap got released, and it was a huge radio uh, song there. And um, yeah, it was it was an awesome show. And that was the, that was the first show I played. Brilliant. So sort of similar yeah. similar question. What's been the most memorable concert you've played with Piston then? Probably the Bizarre Festival uh, back in uh, late 90s. Uh, we did that with Ramstein and um, Korn and Manson. That was when we were out on the Manson tour. Uh, we had a great, you know, it was, it was great. It was a huge show. It was probably 10, 15,000 people there. Um, so that, that one really was good. And then the second Grass Pop show we just did um, maybe four years ago, uh, they had invited us back. And that was that was another great show, probably five, 6,000 uh, people. And uh, it was really, we got a, a great welcome, and people were there for us to see us. That was really nice. Did you get much yeah. chance to kick back with Marilyn Manson then on that tour? Um, we spent a lot of time with those guys. They are kind of on a different uh, <laughs> different wavelength than us. You know, we were big drinkers. Those guys were doing everything but drinking. And, uh, yeah, it was definitely a different... That, that was Manson's, you know, at his height. So uh, those guys were definitely... Uh, <laughs> but we were out with them for about seven weeks, and then we were doing the Queensryche tour in America uh, for about eight weeks in between, you know, back and forth. And uh, the Queensryche guys were as, as good as it got. R really great guys. Brilliant. With Queensryche... Um, was that when Jeff Tate was still in the band? Was that after he'd left? Yeah, that was still, the Garmo was still in the band. That was the real, you know, the full Queensryche lineup. And, um, yeah, they were great. And that was when Val was still in, uh, in Piston. Uh, so, you know, those are the early, the early years. We had a lot of good tours. We, we, you know, we were out with the Misfits, uh, with Clutch. Um, I mean, geez, we, we played with so many different bands uh, back then. 
you know, because we were in full rotation and then we were playing over here in Europe um, with a bunch of different bands here as well. So it was it was great. And we were doing a lot of uh, Metal Hammer, a lot of Kerrang stuff, uh, plus European press. So we, we were doing a lot of shows, a lot of the festivals. Um, it, was, it was good times then. And then we uh, <laughs> we screwed everything up. <laughs> yeah, man. Do you know, talking about screwing things up, um, I just went on eBay out of just uh, put pissed on in. And of course, there's a Kerrang from back in the day, and you're in that magazine. Like nearly ten pounds that costs now, and I got rid of all of my Kerrangs. Why did I do it? It's like why did yeah, I do right. that? You know, <laughs> I kept. Uh, yeah, I did keep a lot of that stuff as uh, just just for keepsake. So it's it's fun to look back at that. Kept the posters and and things, but uh, yeah, yeah, we had every uh, we had every opportunity to 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 make it. It was just. A lot of it too in the, in the states so much. When we had gotten signed to Atlantic back then, they weren't really sure like what to do with us because rock radio was not doing well here, no. and uh, hard rock was not. It, it, nobody wanted it. So Kid Rock was big then, or just starting out. Um, Matchbox Twenty had just gotten signed at the same time as us, so it was it was a totally different time. So I think we were a couple of years either ahead of our time or a couple of years behind when we should have been, and I think it would have really taken off. Yeah, totally. I, I can agree more. I can actually remember that bloody Kerrang issue that you were in as well. I remember buying it, and it's so yeah. annoying. I used to have them all. God, oh well. Um, so, yeah. So the next one, um, what would you say has been your biggest accomplishment musically? Uh, I think just the fact that we're somebody still interested in talking to us 20 years later is is pretty good yeah well i'm old mate so you know <laughs> <I'm joking>. <laughs> <laughs> well, <totally. laughs> stuff is an accomplishment i mean i've i have hundreds of musician friends and um you know to do what we've done is at you know it's that's a great accomplishment i, I of course would love to have had more of it and uh, bigger shows and bigger things but i think what we did was uh was was great on its own if you were an instrument, what would you be and why? Hmm. Uh, well, I guess I would be a flute as long as it was a girl <laughs> flute player. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> For the obvious reasons. <laughs> that's the class, that's the class yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if one of the songs from the album could appear on a soundtrack or any film, which one would you choose? I would definitely choose Cold World again. I think it's just got so many different meanings for so many different people that it would fit on um, on a lot of different a lot of different things. Bro, can you tell me why we should check out Piston in two thousand and twenty two? I think it's better than uh, Piston back in uh, in the late nineties. I think it's the best music that we've done. So, and I agree. If you very melodic, very catchy, and just uh, just good rock. You know, and there's not a lot of that anymore. So, no, there's not. You're not wrong. Um, okay, so it's now five questions, either or either. First one: vinyl or digital? Uh, digital. Festival or small intimate gig? Festival. Pizza or beer? Pizza. Really? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh, that's that. I don't know if I could do that one. <laughs> Saint or sinner? Sinner. And the final one is Biden or Kermit the Frog? Kermit the Frog. Cool. Well, I want to thank you so much for your time. It's been great chatting to you this evening. Hopefully, Thanks you so will, much. will get over to Europe. That'd be great to see you guys live. Um, we would absolutely love to come back and play. So. Absolutely, man. Do you have any final words for your fans? And our viewer and our listeners. Ah, uh, stay, uh, stay pissed. It's a call.